hi guys today we'll be recreating something similar to what you see on the screen where we'll be creating a simulated view with our code side by side so without wasting much of your time let's get started head over to mvs code i already may have i already prepared an a html file so i'm just going to head over to my extension bar i'm going to click it and then i'll go to the extension market of vs code and then i'm going to search for phone view there are other options but then this phone view stands out for me and i'll show you why soon so all you have to do now is when you click on the phone view you click on install now when it installs we'll also show you how to use this like i said there are many options there but this phone view stands out for me so now that you have installed, just close up the extension bar, head over to your explorer. That's this very button here that I'm going to click now. So you head over to the explorer and then you right click on right click on, on your um, HTML file and then open with live server. Guys, in case you don't have a live server, you can install it using the extension. So I'm going to open with live server and it's going to take me to um, one of my favorite browser and then I just have to copy the URL. And then when I copy this URL, URL, I'm going to head over to my VS Code and I'm going to click on this place that says open a phone view tab. And I'm just going to paste that URL right in that box provided for me. Now when I paste it, I'm just going to click on tab to give it the other settings. And then when I get to set, I'm going to click enter and then it's going to reflect on my website. Now, this is the view of this website on this mobile device. Like I said, now we are trying to view our code side by side with our mobile simulated view. I only have to click on the HTML file and select show site, show site, and then it appears this way. Now, this is the part why I love phone view more than other options. It allows you that flexibility to, you know, play around with different viewports, different phone sizes. Like you can see the option there, we have the where you put in your width value, where you put in your height value. So I can specify different values for it. And not just that, I can also choose another phone type. Like the one I have here is for um, Google Pixel. I can choose an iPhone to see how this my website will look on an iPhone. So guys, this is one of the things I like about phone view. And yes, like you can see, we have a bunch of options there. We have iPhone X and all of that. So please subscribe to our YouTube channel if this video was helpful. Now the second part that I told you of um, the mobile view, so you can go to the extension and download mobile view if you want to use it, but that's not my favorite, like um, I prefer mobile view, but that's up to you, you can use it and then you can tell, maybe leave on the comment section which of them is your favorite. Alright, 